Hey there, Rage here. Now you may already be able to tell what game this is. For those of you who don't, this is called Minecraft, and I've been playing it for a while. And I know already you're thinking, well, look at those graphics, it must be terrible! And that's exactly what I thought when I first got shown it, but once you try it, it is so addicting. There's a plethora of things you can do on this. Now, this isn't a guide or a tutorial, and if you want to find out more about the game, I suggest searching it or going on Minecraft.net. But for those in the know, I thought I'd show off uh, my two favourite Minecraft saves that I've been working on. First of all, I wanted to show my mining fortress. And first of all, I like to show it at night time. So, here it is. Yeah, check it. The amount of time it took me to hollow out that section of cliff from the mountain was just ridiculous. But I think it was worth it. I think that looks very, very cool. Right. That's it from the night. Now, as I sneakily swap to daytime, we'll have a look around. Shall we? Right then. After that totally subtle and non-at-all noticeable swap to uh, daylight, let's go and have an actual explorer of my uh, mining fortress, shall we? Cow and chicken reference. Right then, this is the entrance with amazing windows. I know. All right, let's open the door with the pressure plate to reseal it when I uh, leave it, just in case I forget. Right, this is the base of operations. We have a huge trunk there and two more there for all my stuff. I should probably put an extra one there. Do I have? Yes. Check this out. Hell yes. Totally worked. Right. Crafting and a furnace. Now this is my main mine shaft with a abandoned mine cart there apparently. Now I'm not going to go too far into it because it goes for ages but I haven't happened upon any caves with this one. It just goes in a straight 3x3 three three line that I have dug out for it. And I've spent quite a lot of time down there. Not found too much. Now this other way is very interesting because I went down here for the first time, hardly went in and dropped into this cave here. Now it doesn't go anywhere down there but this direction it has got to be the biggest Minecraft cave I have ever seen. It just goes on for miles and miles to the point where I literally cannot find my way back and dying down there is guaranteed to lose your stuff but I eventually managed to get some gold and steel and things back and it's all good. Right. I could, I might explore that in a future video, but it would take me so long that I'm just going to show you the gist of my uh, house at the moment. Now to get up to the house, I have a nifty little mine, mine sift, mine, mine, craft. No, I have a nifty little uh, mine cart and mine tracks. Why is there a sheep up there? What? Whatever. Basically, I'm using Minecraft boosters. Minecraft boosters? Minecart boost boosters. Damn it! Basically, what you do is you put this... Oh, no, no, I don't want you to go anywhere. Oh! Well, that that's a Minecraft... Mi Why do I keep saying that? Yeah, this is going to take a while for me to uh, reset. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Just punch this minecart to death. Okay. Right, then. You, pay, you do this. You do a direct V. And then alongside it, you do another track, which looks like this. You place a minecart on it. And then when your minecart goes alongside it, it'll go up with it and give it a speed boost, like Hot Wheel tracks, if you've ever seen that. Alright, so let's go up to my house, shall we? This is quite fun, I think. Get in it? <laughs> Booster. No, what what happened to that? That was rubbish. It normally works. Alright, let's try this again. Right. Stop. Excuse the failure. Okay, here we go. Right, boom. And booster number two. Booster number three. Zooming all the way up. This is... Oh, my God! And... Roof of my house. Now, if you fail to see that, I don't blame you. Just a little crafting bench here. This looks really cool at night time. Got this out. You can see really far over my uh, generated map. I think it's really cool. And let's go down and have a little look at the actual house, shall we? Nice little wooden steps, like every home should have. 
Now let's do floor two first. There is a nice little room here. You can see I'm into decorating all this splendid furniture and wall decoration. Mm hmm. Not even converted it all to stone yet. Yay, diagonal corridor of awesome. Look at that. Yes, distractions for the win. Torches everywhere so I don't get a horde of zombies spawning inside my house. But what's the point of that corridor? There's no point in that corridor. Okay, there is no corridor there. You saw nothing. It just continues to this room. And you can see part of my uh, mine track through this window. Alright, let's explore the rest of it. Now this took, did take me ages to build, because it's quite an extensive room. Room? House. Another house with a section of window. See more of the world there. And the final room on the second floor. Sheep. Sheep. Okay, distractions. Hmm. My house is so big, I do actually get lost in it. Yep, wrong way. This looks right. Yeah, the diagonal corridor. Boom, 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 boom. <gasps> this way. Yeah, that's the, that's the roof. Right, floor one. Now, this may shock you to hear, but floor one looks like floor two. It's just slightly lower down. I know, right? I don't think you really need to... I can't find my way out! don't think you really need to see all of it, so I will, uh... uh I say that, I'm trying to get out, but, you know, it's just not easy. My sense of direction is horrible in this game. That's a room. I think it's on my right, the X... Yes, here we go. Right, door, open, not fall down. You can see a part of a mine cart system. But that wall there keeps everything out. I built a wall going down here. It will follow it on top of the wall. It keeps everything out, surrounded by torches on both sides to keep away all the monster spawns. Uh, it's basically an enclosed castle type thing with a huge mining operation down there. I think it's really cool. It took me a while on this one. Finally got a bit bored of it though after I'd mined that expansive cave I talked about earlier to absolute death. But uh, one last thing before I move on to my uh, water palace. Yeah, let's go back down to the mining area shall we? Now this might take a few attempts because the boosters like to make things hard for me. Wee, wee. Yeah, just excuse me while I do that. And back we go. But but I have a plan, you see. This, this plan is awesome. Basically what it involves is doing this. And take two. It's not going to happen for me, is it? Typically, it happens every single time, but when you know, when I need it to happen, because I'm recording, it, it's just like, no, nah, what? Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Told you it would happen. Knew all along. And, oh, come on, don't let me make the ghost. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Take three. Let's do this. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Is it going a bit faster, or is am I imagining it? Can we get over the second booster? Can we? Can we do it? Can we do it? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah! So what? That sheep is still there. Damn sheep! Right then. That cow wants to be let in. Uh, what? What is happening? Oh my god! Okay, that's my uh, mining fortress. I'll see you guys at the uh, su get out my face. I'll see you guys at the uh, subtle transition to the water palace. Subtle transition accomplished. Where was I? Yes, the water palace. Lo and behold, in its magnificence. Oh yeah, check this bad boy out. That cow has been swimming in that lake since I started this map. He absolutely loves it. Because of all my water playing, the currents that are going around my house are absolutely ridiculous. It's literally impossible to get attacked by zombies. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we have a glass-topped stone-esque bridge with water sides because it looks cool. And an annoying box in the middle for the win. Torches everywhere because this looks really awesome at night. This is my uh, glass tower, which I'll take you up in a minute. Now, you can move around here, but you're not supposed to, because you can go in here and all the way through. 
But let's go up the tower to start with. And wish they put glass stairs in this game. It'd make this so much easier. But I really do like the idea of building in glass. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. So I don't fail at jumping. Right, this is what the top of the tower looks like. You can see a good distance around. I've got my torch blocks. Wish you could put torches on glass. And yeah, you can take any... Oh my god! Come on, come on! Yes, it's effectively a wall, which I think is really cool. So yeah, the water tower of awesome. Shall we? Come on. Ah! Oh my god. Totally worked. What are you talking about? Oh my god! Okay, there we go. Right, now let's go see the uh, main part of it, shall we? That, okay, that was, that's part of the tar. I just wanted to show you what would happen if I was to step in the thing and, and shut up. Let's try this again, shall we? Walk along the uh, single glass bridge with water cascading down both sides. Now, an interesting thing you'll notice, if you look through water onto a sea, you can see all the blocks and you don't see water. Which I think is really cool. Alright, let's carry on into the uh, main house. Now, I was going to build a conventional house on this patch of island. But I thought, you know what? Let's have a house where the walls are made of water. So, that's exactly what I did. Now, you can go out here into the little bit that's flowing off and struggle against the current like a crazy person to get back inside. Now, I'm eventually going to put rooms and everything, but I think this looks really, really cool. Now, there's water flowing across the top of this glass which is giving it the shaded dark feel in here. You know what? Let's cover this in light. Holy light! I don't waste torches, what are you talking about? Okay, maybe I do a little. So yeah, that's my water palace. Now you need to see what it looks like from far away outside. Now you need to see what it looks like from far away outside. It's really quite cool. At least I think so. I spend quite a bit of time on this, although not as much as the mining palace. But I think this looks more impressive, which does kind of annoy me. Right, so, you ready? Actually, I know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to that little square over there, because it looks cool. Now getting it to without turning around, that's going to be a fun... Ch nope, fell in. I can do this though, I can do this. F fell in. It's fine. Under control, and... Yeah! Check that out. Effectively looks as if I've got a complete palace made out of water. Which I think is really awesome, and building in glass really helps to achieve the effect. And there's one last thing I have to show you, which is again a very incredibly subtle... S go from day to night! Activate in 3, 2, 1! Oh! Oh, you totally didn't see that coming, did you? Oh wait, I counted it down. Oh. Anyway, that's what it looks like at night. All lit up and sparkly. But yeah, that's all there is to it, really. My name's been Rage, I hope you enjoyed my Minecraft video. Hopefully I'll, I'll be out with you some League of Legends stuff soon. This lol servers are just griefing me. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Ciao.